Hi guys, Andrea Rodriguez here. Uh, you, all, you already know that my English is not too good, so just try to pay attention and understand what I'm saying, okay? Um, I know this video is kind of confusing thing here. Uh, there's my shadows and everything, but um, that doesn't matter because this is just to explain what I'm doing here. And this is something that no one did yet. Uh, there's nothing on the internet. Um, everyone knows that Tangent Wave cannot control DaVinci Resolve new versions. Uh, it can, but doesn't has a lot of controls. You cannot control um, curves uh, and uh, uh, hill versus hill curves and things like that. Uh, there's a lot of lags there. Even the second page with tint and uh, temperatures and etc. you cannot control. So there's a lot of limitations. And what I'm doing here is I'm creating an application which will run together with the um, DaVinci Resolve and uh, you will uh, import some remap things here. So we have tangent map here and uh, this I will give you all these uh, configurations here, of course, I'm creating yet. We're gonna have a lot of more, and we're gonna have this application, which I'm creating with uh, some shortcuts and macros and things like that, which will make your life very easy and which will make you control all uh, the commands on the Vint Resolve, okay? So, first, here I did this script. I will not explain what is this, but let's gonna see what happens when we are here on the Vint Resolve. Uh, let me see if you can see the two screens. Yeah, so just to show some things here uh, on edit page, I have here my first panel, and this is the edit panel. So, here on the jog, I can go and back with the playhead. Of course, I can um, walk between the cuts here. And I can play, double play, triple play, stop, and play backwards, of course. Um, here I have um, first two, right? Uh, the selection mode, trim mode, and blade mode. So selection mode, blade mode, trim mode, then F4, F5, F6, I have the insert clip, override clip, replace clip, F7, F8, I have snapping and linked selection. So F8, linked selection, F7, snap, and things like that. Mm. On F9, I have a macro, which makes my video edition very fast. So, for example, uh, just let me show another thing. Here on the mid wheel, mid jog wheel, I have a zoom in, zoom out of my timeline. On the right one, I can go and back on the timeline, not playhead, the timeline. Uh, and here I can move clips and uh, junctions, but they need to be selected, of course. Uh, the first track ball is the mouse, so I can control the mouse here, and this one. I didn't put anything yet, but I will probably. So to make edition fast here, let's say for example, I'm editing like I this video here. So um, I do play here. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. So here I wanna do a cut. So cut all timelines. It cuts everything on timelines. I don't know if you can see here, probably not but it's everything uh, right in here. So you can see cut all timelines, add vid transition, add out transition, delete selection, close clip gap, close the edit point, select backwards, delete, select, delete, uh, deselect all, select forward. If I press out, I have more options and I will have more options. You can see there's blank spaces here and here and I will put more options. You will can use all the dish, uh, edition page with a lot of shortcuts and things like that. I will do a panel for cut page, and of course I will do a lot of panels for color. 
but I'm working on it yet. But just today I did all this. So I have all this here. Um, so for example, I cut it here, I go to the next part, um, so I play, la, 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 la. I don't want all this here, so let's say I want to stop here, and I want to eliminate everything this. So I have a macro, which I already used it on my mouse in the past, and now I put here on F9, it's like... This, uh, this key was like uh, not in use because I put all the shortcuts interesting here. So F9 will cut, will bring the time, the playhead to here, will select this part and delete it. Just one click. So it's very, very, very fast. I can undo the things here. Um, yeah, sometimes it cuts <laughs> to the front, but it's kind of a bug if I do it. Okay, let's see what is happening here. I think probably uh, the script doesn't have a long stop time. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Let me put like a slip here, just to see. So there's a slip here. Ba -da -da. Is this? Oh, no, no, no. Is here okay so let's slip a little more up next okay I'm gonna give it back with my okay so if I press F9 as you can see what I did I was here I press F9 and everything was deleted from here to here see very fast to addition, this is amazing. You're gonna cut uh, interviews and things like that very fast. So here I have undo redo. So if I turn uh, left, it undo one step. So you can see it's selected, then in out, then the cut. If I turn right, I redo everything. Okay. Um, what another thing I can have a in out point so let's say I want an in point here I turn left then I want out point here I turn right I want to delete it I just out and do clear in out in the same jog wheel without I can save my project here and I can copy paste and cut and I can paste attributes I can add a mark and remove a mark and here I have fast uh, control so closest edit point uh, closest gap point or clip um, delete selection gonna do delete selection um, works for everything so like uh, for example if I put a marker a marker here and select this mark and click delete selection we will delete it uh, and it's kind of a backspace, of course. Uh, here I can select everything backwards to the playhead, and I can deselect all, and I can select everything forward of the playhead. So to edit is very fast, because um, this is another nice thing. Uh, I selected forward, so from here to front, everything is selected. I can turn wheel here, the first one, which on the first... On the first play, place uh, it was not working remember but now I can go and back with my clip and with my selection um, and of course I can undo everything here okay what more what more we have um, I think for addition for now is that um, but uh, we're gonna have a lot of more I will put control for every time controls and things like that will be really amazing go into the color page I'm gonna change here and now I have a lot of different things here uh, the first part will control primary wheels primary bars log wheels uh, and the first page here I will work in the second page which will control curves and the second page here and uh, then, of course, I will work 
in a page for heal versus heal, saturation alone, and etc. For qualifier, for windows, and tracking, blur, and uh, for the RGB mixer and everything, of course, motion blur, etc. We work in a lot of panels, one for each thing. But for now, what we have here, I can turn my jog wheel here, and I have lift and gamma and gain, of course. So I can control them here, Ta -da -da. Ta -da -da. and they can be very smooth, one by one, or very fast. Okay. Um, I can reset everything, I just press ALT and I have reset lift, gamma and gain. And I, can, I can reset contrast, pivo, saturation, heal and everything here in alternation mode and there's so some there's some spot blanks here so we, maybe I will put another functions on this part. Uh, the downside, the only downside, uh, all, there's two downsides on um, all this, what I'm doing. First one, you need to use the DaVinci Resolve in full screen configuration, which is nothing, right? Um, second downside, I will work on it um, after I end. Uh, for now, I'm using like a window a specific positions. Uh, like global window, but I will use relative. So if you use a different um, screen configuration, like uh, different um, resolution, everything will work. Because for now, it will only work in, in this resolution. Uh, but I will work on it, and we're gonna have a relative, and everything will work perfect in any resolution. So, uh, Okay, uh, how can I control lift, gamma, and gain? For now, you can see the track mouse is just doing the mouse function. And this is the only real downside, uh, downside of this, all what I'm doing. This I cannot uh, fix. I cannot have like track balls controlling lift or gamma or gain directly. We need a button. So, for now, but it's nothing, uh, because we're gonna have all the software working, so it's way better have everything working and just has to push a button. The thing is, if you want to control lift or shadow wheel, you click this button and then you control. You, you can use any trackball, because you're controlling lift, you said to it. You're controlling lift, okay? Then you press again, and you're not controlling anymore, and you can always reset, like I said. Uh, you can uh, press N and another key, so you're not there anymore. You don't need to press the same key, but of course, probably you're gonna do this, and OK, lift is OK, and now gamma, now gain. And as you can see, I use it the same trackball, but it doesn't matter. All of them are uh, ready, uh, set up to be the mouse, but maybe I will change this for curves, maybe you will can control curves on the first page too. Um, I'm gonna see what is better and I'm gonna work on it and see if it's a good thing, but probably I will put these trackballs to control curves instead uh, and have just one for all the Lift gamma gain. So let's say we want to do primary bar. So here I have the jog going lift, but let's say I want just go luma. So I can go to primary bars. Okay. So F1, F2, and F3. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. F4, oh, here. F7, F8, and F9. I need to remember what I put. <laughs> For now, I really need to remember it. Oh, okay. I just use it this tree. So F7 primary wheels, primary bars, and F9. Um, F7 and F9. Why is not F9? What? F7 
F1. Oh, it's in F1. Uh, control R, Shift Z. So F9. These controls are just a mess. Control R, Shift Z. And this do nothing for now. So F7, F8, and what? 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 Oh, there's a window key too. F9, window key, okay. Now it's 7. So F7, F8, F9. What? <laughs> what, 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 what is happening here? I don't know what is happening here. Oh, it's F12. So F12, control shift out. So, okay. Now it's ready. F7, F8, and F9. So we have primary bars, primary wheels, and log. And it's kind of the same. If I'm in log, I just press the first button, track balls, and I'm doing log. Second button, middle tone, and third button, highlight. So I want to reset them. Same thing. Um, and if I go to primary bars and turn the wheel, same thing on the first page. Okay, same thing. But here I did a luma lift, so you're gonna just luma lift, a luma gain, gamma, and a luma gain. And here I have offset red, offset green, offset blue. That's really nice. And another nice thing you don't have on the original configuration on the last jog, I have offset control here. See? So, let me set everything, go to the first one, and I have gain, and I have here offset. That's really nice. Uh, reset primaries, here I have reset primaries, which reset everything. Uh, and uh, to control this part here, down, contrast, pivot, saturation, hue, and everything, we have buttons here, so I go to contrast and move here, back. And as you can see here, it says mouse X, mouse Y, and scroll. So this mouse X is for everything. So I'm in contrast, then I go to pivot, then I go to saturation, then I go to low mix, then I go to real, to heal, and... Um, as you can see in the same jog here, uh, in the same uh, knob, I can control them. And I, of course, I can reset contrast, jog, heal, and everything is resetted. And reset everything. The last button here, I put to white balance. As you can see, it clicks down here. Select white, out white balance and brings the mouse here. So you can select a place and you can use trackballs to select it. So let's say I want white balance here. Then it's just um, click on this place and it's white balance there. Um, in fact, oh, you can click here. I remembered it. So white balance here, let's say here, this place. And these two buttons here, I can click. So. It's a click here. It's very, very easy. See? You can click here. So... It's amazing. You have all the controls. As I said, I will put controls for the, all the rest of the things. Page 2, curves, and this other curves. And you can, you're gonna put uh, this marks here and control them and everything everything here on the panel it's just a matter of time probably we work on this this week and uh but for now it's all i what i have uh, and it's really nice already i think but i'm gonna still um, creating more and more banks and we're gonna have the vintage resolve working on wave tangent fully completely okay See you guys, hope you enjoy it, bye bye.